Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ash the OT. I provide parents tools and strategies in order to help the little children and their lives to learn, grow, and make progress. So if you have not been watching my videos lately, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and watch my videos. But on a more serious note, today I am going to be sharing with you some developmental milestones when it comes to children who are around the age of two. Also, to go along with this video, I have included for you a free download in the description below, which is a checklist of some of the skills that your child should acquire by the time they turn age two. Also in that checklist, you will see an area that talks about red flags. So these are some examples of things that if your child is not doing, or these are things that you are not observing yet, then you may want to reach out to a medical professional who can assist you further in deciding what is the best route for you to take in order to help your child meet those specific skills. So for the first area of development, which is social emotional, around the age of two, you will start to notice that your child may get excited being around other children. You may also notice a significant increase in their independence, which may also lead to a significant increase in their defiance and temper tantrums. So around the age of two, we've all heard the terrible twos. This is because children around this age are learning that they can say no and they have an opinion and they're not so needy as they think for their parents. So they start to reach out and kind of test those boundaries and kind of say no when they want what they want when they want it. If they don't get it, this is where a tantrum takes place. But it's important to know that having temper tantrums and defiance around the age of two is typically very normal. For the second area of development, which is language and communication, around the age of two, you may notice that your child now knows names of familiar people. They may also know names of body parts. So if you ask them, where are your eyes? Where's your nose? Where's your mouth? They may be able to point to it. This is the age where your child will start to use two to four word sentences. And also, this is around the age where you have to be very careful about what you say around your kids because around this time is where they often will repeat words that they overhear in a conversation. For the third area of development, which is cognition, around the age of two, you will notice that your child may begin to engage in activities that involve them matching, shapes and sorting colors. They may also start to follow two-step directions such as pick up your book and give it to dad. Around this age, they may also start to engage in some of that pretend play or make-believe play, whether it's with food and they're pretending to cook and give it to you to eat, whether it's them pretending to drive cars and make them crash and go through a car wash, whether it's them playing dress up and pretending to be mommy or daddy, a lot of that pretend play really ignites around the age of two. For the fourth area of development, which is physical development, I'm going to break it down into two sections, gross motor and fine motor. In terms of gross motor skills, your child should be able to do things such as walk up and down the stairs, maybe even still holding on, obviously for assistance and for safety. Also around the age of two, your child will be climbing on and off furniture and they may even be starting to run. When it comes to fine motor skills, your child may start to engage in things such as simple puzzles. They may start to copy and imitate some of those pre-writing strokes such as circles and lines. They may also be able to turn single pages in thinner books all by themselves. And when it comes to the fifth area of child development, which is adaptive or those daily living skills, around the age of two, your child should pretty much be independent with feeding themselves with a spoon and even using a fork. They may be able to completely remove all of their clothing and your child may also be able to drink from a cup, an open cup independently. So guys, that sums it up. Those are some basic ideas of where your child should be and what some of the skills they should be exhibiting around the age of two. Don't forget, as I mentioned before, to download the freebie in the description so you can utilize this checklist on your own time as well as be mindful of some of the red flags that I list on the checklist as well. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I will surely get back to you. And once again, thanks for watching this video and until the next one, 